द क्वेश्चन से इज थ्री चार्जेज आर देर माइनस क्यू वन ओके वी कैन लोकेट इट इट्स हियर ओके माइनस क्यू वन प्लस क्यू टू विच इज ओवर हियर एज यू कैन सी एंड क्यू थ्री माइनस क्यू थ्री विच इज ओवर हियर ओके ग्रेट एज शोन इन द फिगर नाउ इट इज सेइंग द एक्स कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ द फोर्स ऑन माइनस क्यू वन इज इट्स नॉट आई डी इट्स इज प्रपोर्शनल टू सो वी हैव टू फाइंड द एक्स कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ द फोर्स ओके एक्टिंग ऑन माइनस क्यू वन लेट सी वट आर द फोर्स इज एक्स ओके एक्टिंग ऑन दिस माइनस क्यू वन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द फोर्स एक्टिंग ऑन माइनस क्यू वन ड्यू टू दिस क्यू टू विल बी अलॉन्ग द लाइन ज्वाइनिंग द टू इन दिस डायरेक्शन ओके एंड लेट्स कॉल इट इज एफ वन एंड वट इज द नेक्स्ट नेट नेक्स्ट फोर्स दैट इज बिट ऑन क्यू वन ड्यू टू क्यू थ्री दैट विल बी अलॉन्ग दिस डायरेक्शन यस बट वेट we have q2 as positive charge so the force acting on q1 will be along this direction and force acting on minus q1 due to minus q3 will be repulsive will be in this direction why repulsive because both are negative charges right and why f1 is uh, this side because this is negative and that is positive i hope you understood how we made the arrows great so let's find the magnitude first so f1 will be how much it should be k Q1 into Q2 upon separation, which is b square, correct? Along x-axis. And what is the force in this direction? Okay, the force in this direction will be how much? If I make this as here, okay, this is angle theta because uh, vertically opposite angle. Okay, so F2 cos theta will be in this direction, and in that direction it will be F2 sine theta, right? If you split the components. Along x-axis, it will be f2 sine theta, and along downward direction, it will be f2 cos theta. Great. So, what will be the magnitude of f2? F2 will be equals to k. Again, repeating, negative sign is not considered because we have already considered them in the arrows, right? Because since the, it is negative or positive charge, repulsion or attraction is because of that, right? So, we have already considered them. So, we will again write q1 and q3 as it is. Upon the separation is a square. Okay. so the final answer here will be the sum of both which one we have to find the x component as per the question the x component of the force on q1 is proportional to what if it is proportional they are saying so first we will find what is our x component and then we will take x this first charge q1 co uh, common okay so let me just write it here as x component of the force okay that will be equals to what are the x components our x components are let me write it here as f1 plus f2 sin theta right now what is uh, f1 let's substitute here it will be k q1 uh, q2 upon b square and f2 sin theta that's again positive again i am repeating be very careful with the signs upon a square and sin theta here also right now if i take uh, they are now if you look at the four answers in this okay all of them they don't have k so which means they have directly taken it into con con constant right so they are, that's why they are saying proportional to so let's take k and q1 common okay because they will be constant here okay common here for this particular expression plus q3 upon a square sin theta right so uh, k q1 uh, we can convert it into proportional and the final answer will become this part which part let me put an line here this part here is our final result so it will be proportional to that right so q2 upon b square plus q3 upon a square sin theta and that is option b okay. i hope this is clear